Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Rachel Burden and Roger Johnson. Hello, good morning. Our headlines today. It's Sunday the 1st of November. Our top story this morning, England is to face a new lockdown starting on Thursday and scheduled to last a month. Some of the more significant statistics um, are around hospitalisations as well, which mm. we'll look at in more detail later and concern about pressure on the NHS. Most of Portugal will go into another lockdown from Wednesday after a surge in coronavirus cases. This year's US presidential election is on course for a record turnout with more than 90 million Americans voting early. It gets so confusing country to country, um, he says. And we'll talk to, um, well, representatives from across the board. Ian Blackford coming on later. Yep. Dave Dunbar on Twitter says, why are you not asking the question? Why is the government extending furlough when London is affected, uh, when other parts of the country weren't going to get it? Matt, morning to you. It was a full moon last night for Halloween, wasn't it? But uh, not, it many, not much people could do it. Thanks, Matt. Speak to you in a bit. Thank you. So you're watching Breakfast from BBC News. It is 19 minutes, nearly 20 past six. Time for a look at the papers. New national lockdown starting on Thursday and lasting a month after the Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that rapidly rising coronavirus cases left him with no alternative. Time for a look at the weather then. We didn't go trick-or-treating last night, but we did go pumpkin spotting, Matt. But yeah. we could have gone full moon spotting as well. You could have done. My kids went uh, pumpkin spotting. But... Right, it's 6.36. Time for a special programme now. Americans will go to the polls in just two days to elect their president. And it is 11 minutes past seven. Time for a bit of weather. It's been pretty blustery out and about all around the country, hasn't it? Cool and dry. Exactly. The other side of autumn from this one. We've got the moment. Fantastic, Matt. Thank you. But a glimpse of blue sky. We'll take yeah, that absolutely. definitely this morning. So you can explain more and give some context into those different graphs that we saw yesterday. 7.23. Well, another tough day for business yesterday with the announcement that non-essential shops and services in England will have to close. And it's just approaching quarter to eight. Good morning if you've just joined us. Let's catch up on the sport. Uh, Jane is with us uh, this morning. Um, right, 7.47 now. We're going to uh, talk about the other big story of, of the day, of the weekend, really, in addition to all the coronavirus. Uh... So goodbye to viewers. For now on BBC One, we're going to be on the news channel until nine. Bye-bye. Have a good day.